After winning second place at the Mars Society's 2009-2010 University Rover Challenge, York University's rover team is continuing to improve their design in an effort to build a robot capable of performing missions on Mars. The rover is designed to do four different tasks. One of them is a science task, which it has to go and look for life. So it'll go and it'll be able to grab samples or take readings with its sensors. It can also deliver packages to astronauts in the field. And it can also do surveying, so it can go out there and look for specific markers or mountains or something like that and say where the mountain is. And also we can uh, manipulate objects, so we can flip switches, you can push buttons. And those are the four main tasks that the rover is meant to do. We have certain systems that run on our computers or laptops, which we communicate with the rover wirelessly. And on the rover, there are uh, certain programs that control each motor, that control the arm, control the drive. Um, this project could not have been a success without the generous support from our sponsors. Every year that we've competed, we've placed in the podium. So first we replaced third, we came first after. Uh, last year we came second, and uh, we're hoping to get first next year. Uh, so this is all students, everyone is welcome to join. We have students from all faculties, not just science, but arts as well. Application to everyday use is, the rover is meant to go places where it's too dangerous for humans to go. So we can do things like check pipelines, it can go near volcanoes, geysers, uh, it can stay out in the desert indefinitely, so long as it has a little bit of power. So all of the tasks that are too dangerous or too boring for human beings, the rover is meant to do that, or to do that with a person, so you can carry a lot of weight with it and deliver packages. So it's, it's meant to be a helper. So it's sort of like a human sidekick. So the rover could help you around the house or help you in the field.